Hey guys, so I actually forgot to film an intro, but today I'm going to be doing this New Year's Eve look. I really wanted to do this deep navy smoky eye, and then I just thought that this would be perfect for New Year's if you want to go full out glam. The last video of the year, of course, I forgot to film an intro. My last video, I forgot to film an outro, so I don't know what's happening. So here's the look. I really hope y'all enjoy it, and let's just get started. I can definitely tell the lighting is going to be very in and out today because it's very bright at some point, so I have it to where the blinds aren't even open all the way because it's so bright. Hopefully the lighting is good. I can't tell. It's kind of be like a tutorial even though I haven't done this yet so I don't really know what I'm doing. I was taking tests all morning and now I'm here to film the video. This is probably like the latest in the day I've ever filmed it. Like it's only 12 o'clock but like normally I film like early in the morning. I'm just trying to get videos done through the new year. I'm gonna prime my lids as usual with the Santi Super Smooth Concealer. I still need to get the Morphe Eyelid Primer. I kind of have an idea what I want to do for this look. So I'm obviously using the James Charles palette. I was gonna use the Wet n Wild Poster Child palette but I don't even know if that's available. That, that's the blue that I thought of whenever I was thinking of this look. Then I was like, I already have this palette and it has everything else and I'm not going to have to dip into like 12 different other palettes. That's how it's going to go from now on. I'm going to be using Cola this whole time probably. The other shades that I think I'm going to dip into, I want to do a cool brown crease. I don't want it just to be all blue. So I'm thinking of either T or Benny, but I feel like Benny is kind of purpley undertone. Maybe I'll mix the two. The first shade I'm going to go in with is Benny on this AOA Studio E1. 32 and it's a very dense small brush and I'm gonna try and keep this in the crease not like below or above it but it's kind of getting everywhere now but it's fine I think I'm gonna use a base for the blue anyways so it will cover up whatever was messed up I'm just gonna try and blend a little bit right now I'm not gonna blend too much this is a purpley kind of undertone so I'm gonna tap a little bit into tea just to put more brown in there. I just don't want it to be like a black or purple crease. It's just got a little messy. So I'm gonna take my E124 with canvas, set the brow bone. I feel like that's the first thing I need to do whenever I do my eyes is set my brow bone because I feel like these just like cling to the wet surface. I'm gonna take some of the flashback. I'm gonna blend using the E129 and I'm not gonna put any product on it. That might be a mistake. I feel like there's crumbles of the shadow. I can see them when I'm blending it. They look like eye boogers, but there's too many of them to be eye boogers. I'll have to go back in and build up some color where it was lost but actually it wasn't lost like that much like there's still some pretty good color in here whenever benny is blended out that purple kind of goes away i don't know if it was it mixing with tea or mixing it with the concealer or it just blending out and it's more of just a true really really dark golden brown i'm also going to bring this on the outer corner it will probably be covered up anyways aoa studio is coming out with more brushes which is great, but also not because like now I'm gonna wanna buy them and I have too many already. And they're already out by the time y'all see this. This is my last video of 2018, which is crazy. So I think this looks pretty blended okay. Like it's still not the best, but I've been blending for so long. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but right there where that chunk is, like those were just like all over my eye. I've been using this quite a bit lately. Honestly, you just need a white base. This is the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in Seashells. It's just a white base. And this just blends so well. Like, no, it's not pure white, but when I'm using darker colors, I don't need it to be pure white. I just need it to be better than this color. Now I'm going to take cola on my finger. I really hope this doesn't get patchy. I'm just going to make sure it's pushed up to my lash line so there's no gaps. I'm trying not to move any of the concealer. And then I'm taking it up to the crease and I'll blend it. This is definitely more vibrant than I thought, but it probably won't be that vibrant when it comes to the end. Because that crease shade is so dark, like it doesn't really look like we have to do that much blending. I'm going to take the brush that I've been using and try and gently blend the edge. It's picking up all that product. So now I'm just going to tap it over because I know there's a lot of extra product sitting on here. There's a lot of blankness on my lid now since I touched it with the brush. I'm just gonna build it up once more and I think I'm gonna sweep it across instead of patting because I want it to actually blend in. I think this looks good enough. I've thought of adding this elf turquoise twilight. I've thought of just doing this on the inner corner but I've also thought about putting it all over the lid. That's what that looks like. I know I'm definitely going to incorporate this on the eyes somewhere. Maybe it will just be on the inner corner. I'm going to just go ahead and go clean this up. I'm going to go 
put my face on. Did you guess what I'm gonna use for my primer? Uh, I've been using it non-stop recently. It's the e.l.f. Glow Lotion, AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream and Fair. I just love this stuff so much and this is what I use if I want any coverage on my face. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. For my bronzer, I was gonna try and be different, but Elf Cool Bronzer never lets me down. AOA Studio Perfect Blush in Wispy. I did a little bit of my brows, but I am gonna wait for highlight because I just feel like it looks better if I do it after my eyeshadow. We're gonna go ahead and do the Lowy Lash Line. What I'm gonna do is take Benny on the E131, the super flat brush. I'm just gonna press it in really close to my lower lash line. I feel like this part just looks so messy. Maybe once I put the inner corner on it, it won't look as bad. And then I'm gonna go in with Cola on this E124. I'm going to take the Elf Detail Crease Brush, a dab of Cola, just to buff this out. I just feel like my blending isn't good. I'm gonna take some of Spooky. I think. What will solve this is if I set my brow bone before I start blending over it. I think that's the problem. Alright, I'm just done with these eyeballs. So now I'm going to take flashback on the inner corner just to have a stark base. I'll do my highlight and then I'll come back for my inner corner. For my highlighter, I'm going to use the Sofax Makeup Revolution Highlighting Palette. First, I'm going to set my face really quick. Oh, shoot. I've never done that before. I just almost set my face with my brush cleaner because it's in here. But I also brought my mist and set in here. I'm going to mix those two shades. I can't believe I almost sprayed that all over my face. I should have like a huge label. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over that with my blush brush just because I feel like there's a line. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna take the white shade on my inner corner and then I'm gonna put that bluey kind of color on top. I don't know what it's called because Elf takes the name off of everything. It's in Turquoise Twilight. I'm gonna put about that much on my hand, kind of blend it out. I'm just gonna get a decent amount on my finger but blend it out really nicely. And I'm just going to try and make sure this doesn't go too far down. But I'm gonna drag it probably halfway into the lower lash line. What's a New Year's Eve look without glitter? very inner corner i'm just gonna put it some more for lashes i really wanted to do amelia but i feel like that's gonna be too dramatic so i think i'm gonna go in with luella because they're more natural but they're longer but they're also kind of flared out you're still gonna be able to see the shadow but they're also like mm -mm. and i'll also put maybelline master per size skinny in my watch hat and tight line i love this inner corner i just feel like it needs more of a base like i should have done like an actual opaque color because whenever you're just head on like this it just kind of looks like dark blue and the luella lashes are a lot more natural than i remember so i think they changed them you can see them but like you can't really see them i'm gonna use the aoa studio wonder matte liquid lipstick in hype i literally never go without putting a gloss on anymore this is aoa studio lip pop in city girl i can't believe this is the last video of the year since this is my last video of the year thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel in 2018 and just supported my videos even if you aren't subscribed and you watch all of them whatever the case may be if you watch a few of my videos thank you so much for supporting me if you're watching this video right now thank you so much for supporting me i would love if you stuck around for 2019 just to see what the future holds i wasn't really planning on wearing this but i couldn't find the shirt that i was looking for so this is the finished look it makes me feel super glam because like my eyes are just like shut up i'm just like feeling myself in this look i really feel like this look i love it so much even though the blend looks like it's bad i don't think it's that bad i don't know like what's going on i really need to figure out these eyeshadows so that every look i do with this isn't bad i really love these toppers the elf has i really hope they come out with more colors and i want all of the colors i really like how it dried down it's not hard it's not flaking off it's just a nice consistency i really like it I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Also, please leave any video recommendations down below as well and anything that you want me to do in the new year. Anything you want me to improve on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I hope y'all had a great year and I hope you have an awesome next year!